So I've heard Daktek might be confusing. No idea where people would get that idea. Okay, tutorial time. VTOL engines allow for helicopter and VTOL-like flight. They have a tonnage limit of 30 tons and armor cannot be over 250 in any hitbox. Fighter engines allow for traditional jet-like flight. They have a tonnage limit of 50 tons and armor cannot be over 250 in any hitbox. Gyros are used to make mechs walk. They can only be used for bipedal mechs. These have a 200 ton load limit. Quad gyros are used for four-legged mechs and weigh half as much as normal gyros. These also have a 200 ton limit. Jump jets can be added to mechs to allow them to jump into the air for limited periods of time. The more you add in weight, the more fuel you get. It takes more thrust and fuel to move heavier mechs. Mask is used to speed up mechs in bursts. It generates heat each second when on, and every second the amount of heat it generates goes up by one unit. Once you turn it off it will still generate heat, but the amount of heat it will generate reduces by one per second until it hits zero. Be careful as to not keep it on so long that you are bound to die. Superchargers can be used on any vehicle to increase its speed, but will reduce the cooling of that vehicle by one heat per second. They are only useful for people looking for the utmost in speed, as normal speed upgrades. By using heavier versions of the mobility entities provide a better boost for the tonnage than the supercharger, and do not reduce cooling. Hover drives are used to power hovercraft. The hover drives are heavy, but allow your craft to move very fast, but can only power vehicles 50 tons and under. Motors are used to power tanks and other wheeled vehicles. They are generally pretty small and lightweight, and can power vehicles up to 200 tons. They can also be used for boats, if you link the wheel inputs to fins. It will not rotate the fins, it just needs to make sure you have a hitbox for them. If you use an external system for steering such as a car-like steering system then you do not need to wire the left and right inputs. This concludes the overview of Daktek Mobility Entities. Tune in next time for information on reactors.